Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Suzanne Steele, and I want to welcome you to Getting Started in Niken Call. Um, I am an independent consultant, and these presentations are being done by folks like myself, um, not done specifically by Niken Corporate. So uh, I hope that if this is your first time, I hope you get something out of it, even if it's the second, third, or fourth, like I have listened to. I get something out of these calls every week I do them. So uh, this is, the timing couldn't be better. We are just starting the Olympics today, um, and this shows someone starting out of the starting blocks. Um, we're going to learn the difference between good, better, and best, and whatever works best for you is, is the best choice. But this picture is showing a runner starting in the blocks. So this person is really doing the optimal start. They've taken time to plan and get that best momentum. Um, there are a couple of other ways to get started, and we'll talk about those as we get into this presentation. So this is a great picture. It's going to show you how the progression is. Um, starting from customers. We all start as customers in this business and some of us are just here as customers and we don't progress. But for those people that see this and want to share this with other people, um, I just realized I did not do a, if you could mute your lines when you get in, that would be helpful. Um, so the progression of the steps that we need to go to the, back, the prior slide. There we are. So the progression is to go up the stairs, if you see this as something you want to do and share with others. Um, so from customers, you'll see that you go to creating a personal group. And these are other folks who have seen the benefit of these products, technologies, these self-care solutions, and have wanted to share with a few other people. And that may grow. You may find a few folks who really are on the page and want to do this in a greater way. They will sort themselves out and become what we call new leaders. And they'll go to that third step. And some of those leaders will want to mentor others. And this all works because of this compensation plan that we have. We only... Um, earn more money in our business as leaders by helping others achieve. And that was something that really resonated with me. Um, I came from this, uh, from a corporate background, um, where it isn't about helping others. And I learned that our five pillars of health, meaning healthy mind, healthy body, healthy family, healthy society, and healthy finances. It's all about bringing balance to people. And for me as well, some of you may know this, but my story was that I started out looking like this. I had a little health challenge. I had broken my neck in a car accident, had a halo for three months, and hurt all the time afterwards. So I was looking for health solutions, wellness self-care solutions. So. From here, as customers, this next slide shows happy ladies out shopping, getting things that they feel will bring value to their lives. Um, I like to share that I was out several weeks ago and I saw a number of young men with those same bags on their tables. They had just gone to the outlet malls, so it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you can be happy purchasing things that are going to add value to your life. So here's where we go into the three different options. We've got our good, better, and best. And I look at good as if, if you were gonna watch the Olympics today and it was gonna be a track and field, would you see people at the starting line just standing up waiting for that gun to go off? Well, that's the good option. They'll get started, but they won't get that same momentum. The better option, which we'll get into next, you could actually stand at that starting line and bend over and put your hands down at that line, right behind the line. That would be a better option. And then the best option is what we saw at the front screen, creating that starting block position. That's gonna create the most momentum. 
So in these next three slides, you're going to see some similarities as we go through, and we'll talk about the differences in the different options as well. So month one, sign up for what we call auto ship and enjoy these discounts of these amazing technologies. You're gonna gain your own belief, your own experiences, and work on that story when you're talking to other people to engage them in learning more about what we have. You're gonna find a few customers and generate at least 100 points in retail sales. And this will earn you some retail profit. In your second month in the good option, you're gonna find five new customers and generate 500 points in retail sales. That will get you to what we call a quality enrollment and you'll earn more retail profit and receive $25 in Nikan reward points. Now in month three, you're going to duplicate what you just did in month two with a goal of five new customers and 500 points in retail sales. This will also earn another $25 in Nikan reward points, which is you can redeem those for products for your own personal use, for your business, to share with customers. It's up to you. In our next slide, you're going to see the better option. So standing, bending over at that starting line. Still, that auto ship focus of discounted prices every month and finding five to 10 customers right out of the gate. So there is a focus here, a little stronger focus than the good option. $500 in retail sales, earn those retail reward, the Nikan reward points. And now you see a greater focus in month two in this better option still the five to 10 customers, but a little stronger focus in retail sales, a thousand points. And focusing on finding three business partners or business builders who will duplicate what you did in your first month. Now the benefit of this is you'll earn more retail profit and an additional $25, giving you $50 in Nikan reward points in your second month. In that third month, still a little greater focus in retail sales, but with those five to 10 customers, now 1,500 in retail uh, sales, and helping now those three people that you sponsored in month two to help them find their three people that want to also duplicate what you just did. This activity will earn $75 in can reward points and advance you to our first level in our compensation plan called Senior. And that will help you get additional commission back every month on all your purchases and all your sales. Now we go to the starting block, the best option, the most momentum. And you'll see this if you're watching the games in Rio. They take time to get those starting blocks working correctly so that they can maximize. And you'll see this in this best option. Still that auto ship, but now you see 10 to 20 new customers and 1,500 points in retail sales right in your first month. Now what will this do for you? You'll also be focused on what we call an entrepreneur's club. And I'll show you a slide next that will give you a pictorial of what that looks like. You'll earn $75 in these Nikan reward points right in your first month. And you'll also earn an additional $300 by completing this entrepreneur club. And you'll advance past that senior level that you did in the last option, and you'll go beyond right in the beginning of that race, and you'll go to executive. Month two. Same focus, 10 to 20 customers, same retail sales, and same focus of an entrepreneur club. And now you're going to be helping those three people that you introduced Niken to in your first month. 
that decide to join your team and you're going to help them do an entrepreneur club as well. And you're going to continue that focus yourself. You're going to be busy, but you're going to be moving through this plan, this business. Um, and you're probably going to lap those people who started slowly, but they, they chose that for a reason. You're going to earn $75 in Nikon reward points plus the 300 for your entrepreneur club again. You're going to now in your second month advance to what we call silver, which means may mean nothing to you, but what it means is that you have reached a level where from now on you can only advance by helping others advance. And this is where you maximize your commission, your rebate from the company as well. And the really neat thing is this last bullet, if you're watching this, you see that your team advances to executive and they each earn $300 for their entrepreneur club. So this is where it gets really exciting because you're helping other people achieve things as well. In that third month, same focus of the first two, customers and retail sales, helping your team now go out and help their team do these entrepreneur clubs, um, introduce this to other people. And you see, again, you're getting the same rewards from your Nikon reward points to your Entrepreneur Club $300. And you see in this month three that you now have $1,000 for what we call a Paragon Award. And this is an additional incentive that Nikon offers um, and thanking you for doing the right kind of activities. You're going to advance to what we call gold, which is the next level and you'll be in qualification for what we call Team Kaizen, which is a great incentive with a lot of added benefits. This picture shows you what this Entrepreneur Club looks like, but I think before I go into this, I want to give you an idea of, we have three different options, and you saw the different results, and I wanna just culminate that uh, to let you know that in the good option, you've earned $50 in Nikon reward points. In the better option, you've earned $150 in Nikon reward points, and you've advanced to senior in that third month. And in the best option, you've earned $225 in Nikon reward points. You've earned $900 for Entrepreneur Club uh, checks from the company and you've earned $1,000 in the Paragon. And you've advanced from um, executive to silver to gold in those three months. So this entrepreneur club is a key. And this is how I started my business, um, by sharing this with others. And this you are not doing yourself, you're doing this with a team. You're doing this with either your sponsor or other um, people that are active in the business who can help us all grow and achieve. So the key is what works for you. You know, when you think about your goals, your dreams, your future, what is the best way that is going to work for you if you see this as a viable way of um, creating what you're looking to create in your life? You know, you can start at one, one level and change to the other, um, depending on how things go. But remember, don't let the things that matter the most be at the mercy of things that matter the least. I think before I go to the next slide, I think that, you know, for me, I have a lot of things that I do to keep the mind where it needs to be, and I think that's an important part of this. Um, Part of what we do here is keeping our thoughts focused. We learned right now about good, better, and best, different ways to do this. And I keep my mind focused by doing certain things every day. Um, I listen to a song that gets me in a good state of mind right out of the gate. I open up my little box of intentions in the morning and I focus on those things. For instance, the future depends on what we do in the present. 
You can plan for what you want or settle for what you get. The choice is yours. Here's a tea bag. Be so happy that when others look at you, they become happy too. And one of my favorites, the most important words you'll ever hear are in your own voice. So we do have a team of coaches. We plug into these calls. We learn, constantly learning. We have gathering customer calls. We have calls on magneticleaders.com and connect. We have um, recorded calls as well. And I think one of the keys is the, the relationships that are built throughout this business are just incredible. And you can't replace those. And we work together even if we do not financially benefit from each other. And my guest today is a shining example of that. Um, Dr. Gary Lindner is someone that I just got to meet through this business. I would have never been able to meet Gary otherwise. And he has his doctorate in physiology from Clemson. And he's also um, actively taught and researched. And he's just a wealth of knowledge. He also has experience in the biotech industry. And um, he has had over 18 years being an advocate and a proponent for NECAN and has really helped me um, focus and uh, learn about thinking in the self-care terminology. Um, I've talked about wellness and my tagline for years has been be healthy by choice, not by chance. So it's nice to know we're all on the same page. And Gary, would you share some great insights with us this morning? I'd be happy to, Suzanne, and, and great, uh, great presentation. Um, so thank you for inviting me to join you this morning. And uh, let's start back with the Olympics at that starting gate. So uh, the, the main thing really I see is to start. And um, I, many of you know, I just got back from a extended trip in the Mideast and met a uh, wonderful young lady, Rebecca from Rio. Uh, and she's on a long vacation during the Olympics because her family rented their house out in Rio for $1,000 a night uh, to, for people so they could come see. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. But uh, uh, starting good, better, best, um, for me, when I have somebody who has upgraded, uh, who that we've taken through the self-care program and says, I'd like to advocate for this as well and use Nika and as the vehicle to do that. Um, the first thing I want to do really before they get started is, is find out what their expectations are. Uh, in other words, what kind of income they're upgrading to make money. Uh, what kind of money, what kind of income are you looking at for your time and energy investment in the next few days, in the next month, in the next 90 days? Uh, then what we want to do, and, and again, and you mentioned uh, I've got 18 plus years uh, advocating here for self-care and for me, Ken. Uh, if, once I know what income level they're looking at, uh, that dictates whether we're going at the good, better, or best. Um, I pretty much know how many people we need to talk to. I know what our results are like, given if we talk to 10 people or if we talk to 20 people. I, I can pretty much model that within their income expectations. Uh, the business uh, or the Entrepreneurs 21 Club, I agree with you, is a great way to get started. I think some of the things that uh, we're enhancing in the near future will even accentuate that even more. Uh, we'll see if I'm right about that or not very soon in the future, but uh, I do believe that will be the case. The other thing is not so much uh, when I'm chatting with somebody is to let them know they aren't alone, and, and you touched on that. So we match calendars, and I say, when is your business time? When's your knee again? When's your self-care advocacy business time? And let's clear our calendars so nothing, you know, uh, given un unforeseen circumstances interferes with that. Um, the I take every Wednesday from 8 a.m. to the evening uh, here locally for people on my team, whether they are existing or whether they are new. And that entire day is filled with what we call ABCs. 
uh, with them bringing people to me to be able to discuss what their needs are, uh, whether that be people looking for an opportunity or people looking to be healthy by choice, not by chance. Um, the, you know, we always have a discussion about self-care for your finances too. Uh, you know, do you really want your boss in charge of your financial future or would you like to take some, you know, some self-care for that as well, if you will, or, or a little more uh, control over that matter. Um, the other thing that I think is very important here is what do we say? Uh, you know, what do we say to people regardless of which way do we start? And, and I like to simplify that as well. Uh, it's basically what we call self-care solutions. And I, and I hit on three uh, main to topics. And those three topics are universally uh, accepted or needed. Uh, we talk about hydration. We talk about quality sleep. And we talk about things having to do with our weight. I mean, 100% of us drink water. 75% of us are chronically dehydrated every day. 100% of us sleep. 70% of us don't get the quality sleep that we need. 100% of us eat food. <laughs> and is that, and do we eat the right choices for food? And are we cognitive of what we're putting in our bodies on a daily basis? Um, from a business standpoint, those three simple subjects hit the entire product line of the Nikkei and uh, spectrum. Uh, in other words, we're, we're talking about environmental products. We're talking about reducing your body burden of, of toxic chemicals and providing your body with the tools it needs. It's, it's, uh, it hits the durable product line, which can generate quick, fast income from a business standpoint, and it hits the consumable product line. Uh, so that's really the focus that we take with, with anybody who's new. Uh, and again, we let their their income expectations really dictate whether it's the good, better, or best. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's very difficult to push a rope. <laughs> and, if, you know, and, and it's not about me. Uh, it's not about my upline. It's about what they're looking for and what will satisfy them from a business standpoint uh, for remuneration. That's always a strange word to say, a difficult one to say, uh, for their time and energy investment in their business. Um, if you have any questions, that's, that's kind of the way we go. It's almost everybody in our team starts as a client, uh, experiences the benefits of self-care uh, through the Nikin product line, through the wellness home, and, and then basically takes a natural organic progression to say, wow, people are seeing a change in me. They're wanting to know what I'm doing. I'd like to be an advocate for self-care. I'd like to be an advocate for the concept of the wellness home. Can you show me how to do that? Um, I think that's the wave or the direction of the future uh, for us in this business. Uh, it is very uh, difficult for the brand, the most difficult thing for the brand new person or the advocate or can consultant to do is to recruit. And it, it's very easy for them to share the benefits they've received from these technologies. Uh, if we let it, and, and, and a lot of hesitancy that I've seen over the years is people saying, you know, really, it's just, uh, I've, I've got a tough time trying to recruit. And one, because they don't understand the business, I think as much as we can simplify it for them and let them be at ease to say, just share, share self-care. Uh, so, 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 share that concept and let that person that you're talking to dictate where they want to start. Do they have a more interest in hydration or quality sleep or nutritionally, whatever it might be. Um, that's kind of the way we, we do things uh, out here in California so that's, <laughs> or wherever I might be. I, I, I might say just uh, last month, even on my tr travels, uh, 10 new customers uh, that ordered, uh, from conversations I had with them about those three subjects, hydration, sleep, and weight. Uh, I met, I, I went back to one of the, uh, you know, I've been gone for a month, and I went to uh, one of the network luncheons that I attend weekly yesterday, and there were six new people in the room. I had that conversation with all six when they asked me what I did and said, this is the three areas, I, or all six that I want to learn more. All six in, asked me to send them a link to the next presentation, which is Wednesday night at 6.30 on self-care solutions uh, so that it's engaging. 
It's not, uh, and really, the, the, when we're speaking that way uh, with people, it's not, um, and not that I have anything against sales, because I don't, <laughs> but it's, it's not like a sale. It's a concept, and they are engaged in the concept. And so how do we make this concept come to fruition or reality is through the product and technologies that Niken provides. Yeah, very well said. And, you know, I think you said people see the change in them and then they ask you how you can help them be an advocate. And it, it starts with it has to be about them. Yeah. If it's, it's not about us, as you said. Um, you know, I had an experience yesterday. Um, and you have, to, I think it, it also is about the heart. So if you are someone that cares about other people, not just about yourself, I think this business does, it's very easy to do if you care about other folks. And we were out on our motorcycles, we stopped into this dealership, and right away a salesperson came on us. But we were there to see someone that we hadn't seen in about 20 years. And as we waited for her, I noticed the salesman was really having a hard time walking. So I went over to him and, you know, as Dave Johnson says, the question is always no unless you ask, right? Mm -hmm. The answer is always no unless you ask. So I just said to him, I said, you, know, you look like you're having a hard time. And he said, oh, I am, you know, uh, and he started down this big conversation with me. And it was because I was open to listening to him and his needs. Mm -hmm. And I asked a couple of questions and I said, are you open perhaps to learning about some self-care solutions that might help you with your challenge? And he said, yes. So it was, it had to be about him and because we have this great structure in place. It's great to be able to plug him into your call and mm -hmm. plug him into a recording if it works to just help the greater good. So, yeah. so, so here's the key point there. What you asked was, are you interested in some things that you can do to maybe help yourself with the challenge that you're experiencing? Yes. Here's the difference and here's the shift. And here's what I think really anybody new on this call or in the field needs to realize. When we ask, are you interested in things you can personally do for yourself, it's totally different than asking, are you interested in a pair of Nikon magnetic insults? <laughs> that is opposite ends of the spectrum. And for any new person or people on this call or viewing this as a recording, I want you to embrace that difference and understand how much further ahead you will get in that conversation when you're empowering that person to make self-care decisions as opposed to trying to sell them a product. Um, that's, that's what's going to you know, really skyrocket your business. That's when it's going to attract your partners. Um, you know, self-care really, you know, the, the whole concept of this, the whole awakening series was designed because we all have hearts. And I think it is ridiculous for us to uh, believe the media and accept chronic disease as a normal part of life, because it's not, <laughs> because most of it can be prevented. Um, the, uh, and, that's, and that's really with pretty simple, easy things to do. Uh, the three I mentioned, hydration, quality sleep, and kind of watching what you're eating, uh, you know, can be huge for anybody's health regardless of where they are on that staircase of health, of just super healthy to not so healthy. Mm. So I am going to now stop the recording, but uh, we can probably stay on and answer some questions. And remember, it's all about the benefit for them. Just like the benefit in this business has to be what the benefit is for you. And, uh, so thank you all for taking your time today.